Good morning, good morning. What is today, Thursday? Happy Thursday. If you don't see that live button up there, that means you are watching the replay. Please hashtag replay. Um, I am Mandy with Makeup Mandy. And if you're ever wondering why I look like I'm wearing the same clothes every single morning, it's because I am. I have a morning uniform that I put on um, every morning when I first wake up um, and then, you know, go about my morning day and then do my makeup. And then after I do my makeup, that's when I go in and I change for work and all that stuff. So, um, that's why I'm wearing the same clothes almost every single day. Not only that, but I actually have um, multiple black tank tops and multiple black sweatshirts. So hi, Grace. Good morning. Thank you for joining live. Um, I hope everybody is having a fabulous morning. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So I am Mandy with MakeupMandy.com. Um, if you um, ever have any um if you ever want to get any of these products that I talk about, you can go to MakeupMandy.com. You can also message me. I love it when you message me first because sometimes I have deals and specials that I can share with you. Um, so before you just go on and, and put it in order, come talk to me. Um, and then I can also help you make sure you're getting the right products. Um, so if you have oily skin, let's go ahead and get started with that. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't typically have oily skin. I don't anymore anyway. I did. I used to suffer with oily skin in my T-zone. Um, and right here, right? Like right here. Hi, Andrea. All right here. My forehead. My cheeks would be okay. My mouth would be very dry. And my chin would be very dry. Really weird, right? Um, but I will tell you the first thing, two things that changed that. First thing was um, absolutely uology. Uology skincare changed the way my skin now works. Um, and that is the most amazing thing ever. So if you have any questions about uology, message me or hashtag uology down in the comments. I would love to be able to um, tell you about the products, give you the quiz, let you find out what products are perfect for you. Because that's what makes this uology unique is that it is sp specific to your skincare needs um, and desires. Okay, nobody else. 40,000 different combinations, okay? So, um, um, but I did, while I did have um, oily skin and while I've done some research on oily skin, I know how to prevent or know how to help work with it. Let's say that, okay? So let's go ahead and just get started with that. I have already put on my day cream. I put on my Uology Serum and my Uology Day Cream. Um, that has all set in and soaked in and so we are good to go. I have not started with my primer yet. A lot of times when I come on, I've already put on my primer, but we're gonna do one step first. If you have oily skin, especially Especially if you have oily skin and you're going to be out in like the humidity or you're going to be sweating, um, this is a perfect solution for you. So you're going to take your setting spray and you're actually going to spray it on your face before you do anything else. Okay, so I just did, I did what, three or four squirts. You just make sure that you can feel um, it, you know, it hits your face, especially in the areas if you if you get oily in specific areas, okay? So that's especially where you're gonna want it. So we put that on and we let it dry. So this process does take a little bit longer because you need to let stuff set in between um, than if you're just gonna quickly come on and do, you know, a quick 10 minute face, um, and, and be out the door, okay? So you let that sit. So I feel like it's dry. I feel like, um, you know, we're good to go. So then you take your primer. So you started with your setting spray, and now you're gonna take your primer. You're gonna do um, it's a little, about a pea size or maybe a little bit less. Now, forgive me because the top part, you can see has some color to it. That's because um, I had I dipped it into my concealer on accident. So there was some concealer on the outside of the of the lid, but it's a clear gel like um, consistency. So I kind of warm it up between my fingers. What I do is I first tap it in the areas I want a larger consistency. Um, so if you have certain areas that you really get oily, then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and kind of spread it out. Okay, because you don't need most people, I will say, don't need primer all along your face like all in this area most of that area is going to be fine it's going to set most of the time the oils because what happens when you have oily skin is it breaks down your makeup oils break down your makeup 
And so that's what causes your makeup to start wearing off as the day goes on. Um, sometimes it's literally wearing, like you're t you hug somebody and it actually comes off onto them. Um, and sometimes it's just, you know, you scratch your face and you kind of scratch that makeup off. Um, but the oils break down your makeup. So that's why. So if you see that, like, as the day goes on, you start getting little, like, coagulation, like it looks like your, your foundation is beating up. Um, or it's just not staying on properly. Those are two signs that the oil is breaking down your makeup. So um, I put the primer on. Now, the reason why the primer. Primer is going to create a barrier between your skin and your makeup. So as your face starts creating those oils, it's going to keep a barrier between those oils and your makeup. So it's not going to start breaking down that makeup. Um, it's also going to keep that makeup in place so that it doesn't coagulate and gather and come off. Okay. Primer also is going to fill in larger pores or smaller pore, larger pores and small fine lines, you know, I mean, it's obviously not going to be like putty on your face, um, but it is going to fill in some of those gaps so that it helps give you a smoother finish. Um, I have an amazing picture to share with you guys. I'll, um, if I can remember, I'll, um, and if I don't remember, somebody message me, but I have a picture of one side with primer and one side without, and then um, you put the foundation over. Um, it's not buffed in, it's just gone like this with the foundation, and you can see immediately the difference between the side that has primer and the side that does not, of the way it just fills in and the way that makeup just glides over it without creating all those like pop marks and everything. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm talking a lot right now because again, we have to let that set. So I put that primer on. We want that to set. We don't want it to feel um, like silky. Um, you want it to feel like it's just your skin now. Okay. So, cause while it's that silky feeling, that is while it's still drying. Okay. So here's the thing. You can go ahead and take, if you have extremely oily skin or you're going to be, you know, hiking through the rainforest, something like that, you can um, actually use the setting spray in between, good morning, good morning, in between each of your applications. So we started with the setting spray, hi Erica, we put on the primer, we let that sit, you can do the primer, I mean, sorry, the setting spray oh. again, and then we can go on about, you know, the, 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 the process okay I'm not going to use setting spray again because I don't want to um, over dry my skin um, I don't have oily skin right now um, so I don't want to do that okay so we put that primer on so let's go ahead now we still have more tips for oily skin so don't leave me yet we're gonna go ahead and use the flawless four um, bundle so we already used the setting spray and the primer and now I'm gonna grab my concealer so concealer is part of that um, that Flawless 4 bundle. Now remember, the Flawless 4 bundle, I'm sure if you have been um, anywhere near my page, you know that I am all about the Flawless 4 bundle. The Flawless 4 bundle comes around once a year and it is extreme savings. It's $47 off. So this bundle right here, you're essentially getting um, the foundation for free and you're getting part of your concealer paid for okay by getting all four products um because the foundation alone is 39 dollars, and you're getting all four products for 99 dollars. hey jessica so you see what i did with that concealer as i kind of rubbed it between my fingers i warmed it up and i just patted it on we're gonna leave it sitting okay we're not gonna touch it right now we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit we're gonna go ahead and get our liquid foundation so the reason why this liquid foundation is great for oily skin is because it dries to a powder finish so you don't have that dewy look so if you have a dewy look on top of oily skin then you're going to have a very very shiny face so um this you see that i'm mixing it up and you see that i'm kind of squeezing this it's a dropper bottle just like this so i'm just making sure all that product that was in that tube is out and it's mixing up and it's getting fresh okay so very easy to color match you don't have any concerns that i can't color match you okay um we're gonna do four drops the thing is, is this is also buildable. So always start with four drops, tap it around your face and buff in. And then if you find there's certain areas that you want to apply more, it's buildable. So you definitely can do that. Don't have any hesitation. So when it goes on as a liquid, it dries to a powder. So um, then you can just, as it's dried, you can just go ahead and go back over and add a little bit more product if you want. Um, what was I saying? This has these 
luminizing properties now i'm it's getting technical so i don't know all the details um but it has these luminizing properties that actually deflect light so it helps blur imperfections okay so that's another reason why it has such amazing coverage now you notice that I didn't go over that area yet with the concealer. The reason being is I have mature skin. I'm 41 years old. And if you don't believe I'm 41 years old, you need Uology because Uology is changing my skin, I'm telling you. Um, so the reason why um, I do still have some fine lines in this area, maturing skin, right? How can you, you can't help it. Hello, hello, hi Lisa. Um, so I don't wanna put a lot of product on the areas that I have a lot of, um, I have more wrinkles, more areas for it to kind of settle into. So I'm letting it warm up right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather it out. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that now. So we take the powder concealer brush, I'm using the concealer side. I'm being very gentle. You wanna be very gentle with the areas around your eyes. That skin is very, very delicate and you don't want to damage, you don't want to pull on it, it's gonna create more wrinkles. So that's not what we're trying to do, right? So you see that I'm just kind of feathering this out. It's bringing that concealer, so it's still lightened up all that area, right? But we're, not, we're just not putting a lot of product on. You don't want to overlay, um, thank you, Elisa. You don't want to, um, the more product you have, the easier it is to settle into those fine lines is really what I'm trying to get to, okay? So now I'm just kind of pulling it down around my nose, making sure all this area is lightened up. Um, so anything that's still left on my brush, I'm just kind of, you know, pulling down and pulling around. Now here is a trick setting powder so our flawless four bundle you actually choose if you want the setting spray or the setting powder but what you can do is just pick one they're both the same price and then add the other one on to your order and then you're going to get free shipping and that way you get the benefits of both okay so let me show you how to use the um setting powder now i'm going to do what i call a little fake and baking i don't know if you guys are familiar with what baking is um from a cosmetic standpoint but what it is is when you put on a concealer or some kind of liquid or you know cream that stays creamy um, and then you put a bunch of powder over the top of it and then you let it sit and you usually have an excess amount of powder where you actually have to um, brush it off afterward so when you're letting it sit What's happening is your skin is warming up that product, that concealer in this scenario, and then that powder, this, this setting powder that I just used, is becoming one with that concealer. Um, and so what this is gonna do is a couple of things. One, it's gonna give you a really good highlight. Look at that, like a really, really good highlight. It's also gonna kinda um, become one product so that it's not multiple products sitting on top of each other and then creating that layered look where you end up getting it into your wrinkles and stuff the other thing about the setting powder this particular setting powder is it also has those light diffusing properties which is basically what we're calling Photoshop in a bottle okay this is powdered Photoshop um, it just blurs out the fine lines it helps blur out the dark circles it helps blur out um, imperfections now the other thing with this setting powder is it absorbs oils so if you have oily skin, you want the setting powder as well, okay? Um, it is going to, as the day goes on, it's gonna grab onto those oils and keep it from coagulating and mixing in. I use that word coagulating a lot because I think it's funny to say, but it's gonna keep it from um, settling in um, and mixing with your makeup and when it mixes with your makeup, remember that is when it starts deteriorating your makeup and your makeup comes off as the day goes on, okay? So um, I know a lot of ladies that have oily skin and when they're using the setting powder, they say that they do not have to touch up as the day goes on. There are some ladies who still have to, um, but remember, work with your skincare skincare so a lot of things that i i found um so i took this whole class on skincare i'm not an expert i am not an expert but i am learning my way through the process um a lot of times what's happening with oily skin is your skin is actually dehydrated doesn't make sense right you think oily skin don't put any moisturizer on my face um, but oily skin is oftentimes um, dehydrated and so your skin is actually overproducing oils trying to, um, you know, hi Kristen, trying to um, 
you know, moisturize your skin. So um, a couple of things, look at the amount of water that you're taking in. Make sure that you're taking in the recommended amount of water um, every day. And then remember, if you're drinking sodas or you're drinking coffee or you're drinking alcohol, those actually dehydrate you. So if you're drinking the regular amount of water plus those things, you actually have to drink even more water to offset those de the dehydration, the dehydrant is the right word, right, of those other things, okay? But Uology is also a way to help um, stabilize your skin, stabilize those pH balances and everything, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this side. So remember, we just take it and we feather it out very gently gently, very softly. Um, and you notice that I do that V. We don't want to go right into that circle itself and only put the product on right there because what that's going to do is actually highlight that circle and bring attention. So you bring it down just a little bit so that the, the eye comes down with it. And again, I'm just taking if there's any product, I'm just taking it and highlighting the areas that we would go ahead and add more highlight to. And so that was just a very, very small amount of concealer that was used to do all the face. So right now you can see that I have concealer on this side and I have the setting powder and concealer on this side. And if you look closely, you can tell the difference where that setting powder is. And that is why that setting powder is very, very, very important. Um, as well, concealer um, in general will stay dewy and stay like pliable. So you want to set that so that it doesn't move throughout the day as well, okay? So whether you have oily skin or not, make sure that you're setting your concealer. So what I'm doing is I'm just patting on um, that setting powder so that um, it mixes in, warms up with that concealer. Now, the reason why I called this a fake and bake um, is because I, I put a very, very small amount of concealer on. If you were truly baking like the Instagram highlight and contour baking, um, then you're gonna put a thicker amount of concealer on. You're gonna probably use a blending bud to pat that um, powder on and you're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. But right now we are only gonna you know just let it sit while we do the rest of our face okay so I already put that foundation on um, I don't feel the need to add any more I think we're doing just fine so let's go ahead and continue on with our face now, if you're here just to find out about the um, oily skin, um, so let me recap while I finish my brows and stuff. Um, so you put the setting spray on first. Hi, Carrie. You put the setting spray on first. After I did my face moisturizer, you put your setting spray on, you let that sit. You put your primer on and you let that sit. Then if you have extreme oily skin or you are going to go like hiking in the rainforest in, in Hawaii or something like that, then go ahead and add another coat of setting spray before you do your foundation. So then we did our foundation. We made sure that we set with the setting powder because remember that is going to um, help absorb oils as the day goes on if anything gets through that setting um, the setting spray and the primer, if anything gets through those areas, then that powder is going to continue to absorb throughout the day. Um, and then this is where we're at right now. So we are going to continue on with our face. And then at the end, we're going to use that setting spray one more time. And that is really going to set everything. Um, so nothing will move. So your setting powder is really good at, um, internal influences so oil oils sweating things like that and the setting spray is really good for external like humidity rain those type of things okay so they they really really work really well together um if you have oily skin you want both but again i don't still have um oily skin um but i still use both because i think they're important Good morning, everybody. Thank you guys for joining. Happy Thursday. So right now I'm just using the, um, oops, <laughs> the brow pencil. Um, it has a little spoolie on the other side that just really softens up any of those lines that you created there with those brows. And brows are very important. <clears throat> I think it was yesterday or the day before I was talking to you guys about brows and I was telling you that, um, 
brows show your age as we as we age brows get thinner and so um if you if you're letting your brows thin then um you will look older but if you keep them filled in um then it's going to help make you look younger because it's going to look like you haven't lost any of your brows i'm not happy with this side of my brows today but i'm also someone who doesn't like to stay focused on my brows because I feel like the more I try, then sometimes the worse they get. So I think we're just gonna let this one go today. This side is my problem child always. What was the, uh, there was a meme that went around that said like, you know, your good eye is the target eye and the bad eye is the Walmart eye, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue with our base face. This is bronzer. Anytime I'm putting foundation on, I will always use a bronzer. You will never see me leave the house, even a BB cream um, with just foundation on. You'll see me leave the house without brows on or my eyes done or something like that. But if I put foundation of any kind on, um, even a tinted moisturizer, then I will use a bronzer. Hello, hello, good morning, Caroline. Okay, so you just put the bronzer on. We call it the three and the E. So you're gonna go like this and then like this, okay? And if you, um, let's say you have a foundation that's a little bit too light for you, or maybe it's your winter shade and you're trying to make it last into summertime as you're getting tan, um, grab a bronzer and that will always help warm up your face um, without having to change that foundation shade. Now, usually when I do my um, nose area, I will use a lighter, I mean, sorry, a smaller brush, but today I just used that same brush and I got a little bit product on the outside here. <clears throat> and then just going over this area to lighten straight down the nose. Okay, and I also say that this is like, <clears throat> Um, makes you look like you just lost like five pounds, right? Because it makes you look like your cheekbones are more sunken in. Um, and I'm just kind of softening that up. Now, I haven't gone back over that area under my eyes yet. That still has that setting powder that's kind of like setting in and baking into my face. This is um, Sweet Blush. <clears throat> and I'm just going to add a little bit onto the cheeks. I'm not a huge blusher person. I'm more of a bronzer person but it's always nice to add a little bit of color on right all right so let's continue on with our eyes and then we will dust <coughs> excuse me we will dust um that setting powder off good morning good morning everybody thank you for hopping on if you're coming on now because you want to know about the oily skin, then um, go ahead and go back and watch the beginning of this. I did um, give you lots and lots of tips about oily skin. So I'm just using a little bit of eye primer. Uh, the eye primer has a little bit of a color to it, which will help um, kind of I have very red eyelids so it doesn't work extremely well on me um, but it's supposed to help um, kind of neutralize those colors the difference between setting I'm sorry between the glorious face primer and the eye primer is the eye primer is tacky so it's going to really help um, those the eyeshadows really stick to it um, I usually let, wait for it to dry just a little bit so it's less tacky um, and then <clears throat> but still work with it while it's tacky. Um, we are going to use my typical shades today. These are my favorite colors. They go with every outfit. They go with every skin tone um, and we are going to work with it today. So um, I am going to take my deluxe brush just kind of brush it off a little bit my deluxe brush my fluffy brush and we're gonna get grab discreet which is this peachy kind of color and I'm just patting it on now I'm patting it all over until just under my brow um, this is kind of like my base color it will help also blend the other colors together as we go we are going to use four colors today but it's going to be very simple very easy to do don't get worried. I know some people are very afraid of eyeshadow. Um, I tell you, it just takes practice. It takes the right tools, 
Um, I'm gonna grab Laid Back, which is this one right here. It is a, it's called a satin. It has just a tiny, tiny bit of a shimmer to it. Nothing that like really grabs um, like like extreme, no extreme sparkle or anything like that, but it does have a little bit of it to it, which um, helps highlight under that brow area. Um, you usually wanna use a little highlighter right here um, and that will help look, um, bring attention to the arc of that brow, okay? So that's what you're doing there. So that's all with a deluxe brush. Now I'm gonna take my crease brush, which is a small, um, dense brush, and I'm gonna grab um, Marvelous, I believe is what it is. Okay, so um, I usually, what you wanna do, okay, so here's a trick. If you want your eyes to look lifted, then you want that, that the color to kinda come up like this. So I use that kind of as my, my setting. So I try not to go past that area. Okay, so that's gonna pull and elongate your eye. So I grab a little bit more and we'll go in this corner here. So you go straight up and I'm going past, I'm going starting at my lash line and I'm going past the crease, okay? And let me show you why, because I'm gonna grab a little bit more product and I'm gonna take that V, that outer corner right there and I'm gonna come towards my crease. So what I'm doing here, I'm not putting product right in that crease line itself in that fold because um, it, when your eyes are open, you can't see that. So you don't wanna put makeup there and then you know the whole time that your eyes are open, nobody knows that you're actually wearing makeup. Hi Misty, good morning. So we're going above that crease line. Now I move it towards, I start outer on the outer side, but I move it towards kind of evening with my um, with my crease because I don't have a whole lot of real estate up here. So I don't I don't want to go way up. It, it just it, it, it depends on your eye shape is really what I'm trying to say of exactly where you're going to put your um, eyeshadow. Okay. So I'm just softening it up. Now this does not, when you're doing it with this dark chocolate, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go back over it with another um, brush and another product. Um, hi Courtney, to, um, to soften that up and to blend it, okay? So that's the way we start. Um, and now my eye shapes are different, like I said before, I mean, even, even between these two. So I try to even it out, but I also don't, I don't freak out about it, okay? I don't freak out about it. It is what it is. Okay, so now we're gonna take the fluffy crease brush. So you can tell the difference between these two brushes. This one's very dense and this one is fluffy, but it's not like the blending brush. The blending brush is very fluffy. I feel like the blending brush is actually too big for my eyes. When I use it, I feel like it spreads the product way too far. Um, so I really, really, really like the um, blend, the um, fluffy crease brush, okay? So we're gonna grab Agile, which is this maroon color. Get some product on there. And we're gonna go right over where we went with that chocolate. Now you notice with the chocolate, I only went about three fourths the way over, but with this um, maroon color, as I blend it, as I get some of that product off, then I'm gonna come all the way over, okay? So then they meet my corner of my eye. Now, after that product starts, um, you know, I start, <clears throat> what's the right word? After I start, after I blend some of that product off the brush, that's when I'll start going up the brow bone a little bit. So when there's just a little bit of product, I'm kind of just spreading it around at this point. Um, that's when I will go up a little bit. And you can see that it gives you a very soft um, blend up. Now, a lot of people will tell you to start with your transition color, but I find with these colors, for whatever reason, and these brushes, um, I find it easier and a better finish when I start with that dark chocolate and I use that to fade. Okay, so you notice that I haven't put any more product on my brush and I'm just blending now. So oh, when I go oh. in this, well, that was weird. It like totally like vibrated. Um, when I go in this area here, I um, go windshield wiper back and forth, and when I'm on this outer corner area, 
I do little tiny windshield or little tiny circles, little tiny circles. And I do blend towards the inner part of my eye. And you notice that I tried very hard not to go past that hard line, because remember, that's what's going to pull your eye and elongate it up. So let's grab a little bit more of that agile and come back over here. Focus right here. Focus on blending where you have that chocolate area. And then as the product is off your brush, go ahead and pull it all the way over. Good morning. Hey, Christine. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Good morning. And then I'm going to come back and start going up the brow bone a bit. Okay. So as that product is off your brush, then you can start fading up. And I always say, when in doubt, blend it out. If you have too much product on, which we try not to, I try very, very hard to start light and you can always add more, very difficult to take it away. But if you do need to take it away, what you can do is um, I'll use my brush cleaner here. So this is an amazing brush cleaner. It's cheap, it's $19 ladies, it is so cheap. And um, it disinfects your brush and it actually cleans your brush as well where you can go from a dark to a light color with no drying time, okay? So if I really wanted to clean this, I would grab, I do spray it one more time and um, it would be like white as day, okay? So white as a cloud, white as day, like that doesn't make sense, right? white as rice maybe I don't know okay then um so then oh so this is what you do when you um have too much product so then you can come back over that area and you can blend and what's going to happen is it's going to take off some of that product okay in that way and then you just keep doing it you can rub it on your towel you can clean off your brush again um something like that and that's going to help soften up and take off some of that product but again it is very difficult if you put too much on to take it away okay all right so i think we're good with our eyes i think we're good with our eye, eye shadow anyway let's go ahead and add on our um eyeliner. I'm going to use this bluish color today. Um, I really love using a blue or green are my two favorite eyeliners. Um, it just adds a hint of color. It is not like 80s style. Hey Heather, good morning, good morning. Um, it's not 80s style makeup at all. Um, it has, adds just a little hint of color and it's something fun. So let's go ahead. Our pencils, I'm going to see if I can do this with you guys seen our pencils um, are amazing you have about 20 I'm sorry about 30 seconds 45 seconds to smudge it if needed um, otherwise they're set and they're not gonna move so I use little tiny with the pencil I use little tiny um, like little tiny marks and I go back and forth until I get it now here's a, a funny little trick hey Laura you have the product there and you go like this it actually creates that that line so it like makes it like you had a straight line out um kind of a little bit of a wing it's not a true winged liner but it's a little trick that you can do um to help um pull that out so the reason why you do that is when you have your mascara oh, on oh. and you have um these the eyeliner that comes out like this it's gonna kind of look like that's part of your um eyelashes so it's gonna look longer and i did it out and up to go along with that the edge of the makeup which again is going to help along your eye okay now i'm going to show you a trick hold on one second let me do this side So I put a little product on the corner there and I do this and it pulls it out. Okay, now here is a little bit of trick. So I put both eyeliners on the outside of the eye. Um, I tried to go close to the lashes, but watch. If we go inside and you focus on that lash line, see what happens? Let me show you. Oops. Kind of messed up a bit there. But now, um, now hold on one second. I got to do this with my lashes before they set because I told you that that eyeliner 
once it's set, it's not moving. And if you get it on your lashes and you have your lashes going in the wrong way and then it sets and it's gonna look funky. Okay, so look at this right now. Look at the difference between my two eyes. So I lined underneath and in that lash line, I didn't go, I wasn't touching my eyeball. It's not like the water line. You're not touching your actual eyeball. You're going basically on the lashes, but just the underneath. And look how much more this side pops. It really, really stands out better than this side because this side I didn't line underneath. And the other thing is, is that, yeah, you can make a thick line on the top if you wanted and not go into your lashes, but this actually takes up less space on your on your eyelid. Um, and so you can have more eyeshadow there, okay? So it doesn't, because when you get that really thick line that goes on your eyelid, it, it closes up your eye. And this is actually brightening it up. Hey, Chris, good morning. Good morning, Laura. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this side. And another reason, another way I know that I'm not going in my waterline is it's not rubbing off. If it was in my waterline, like on my eyeball, then as the day would go on, it would like settle right here, but it's not, it doesn't do that. You're putting it on your lash line itself. All right, so that's your eyeliner. Let me straighten this one out. Now I'm gonna use Epic Mascara and 3D Fiber Lash Mascara today. Um, I've kind of gotten in the habit of using 3D Fiber Lash again. Um, it goes on very quick and the um, results I think are worth it. So we're gonna do that. So curl your lashes, make sure your lashes are going the right direction and curl your lashes. I always, always suggest you curl your lashes because it's gonna help your lashes look longer. I have pretty straight lashes that go straight out, basically, so when you curl them and they go like this, they're gonna look longer. And that's what we all want, right? Those eyelashes we can bat and get things. <laughs> we don't tell the boys the tricks, right? Okay, so I'm curling the lashes. I start at the base and then I kind of tap my way up the lash. But I, I'm not pushing on the lash curler hard, okay? So I usually will put more pressure on the bottom part when I first curl them at the bottom, but then as I tap my way up, it's a very light, light, light pressure. Okay, so I sit on my mascaras. <laughs> I have quite a lot going on right here, okay? Don't freak out. So I have my Epic Mascara that's new that I used before I put on my fiber lashes. I have my two mascaras for the 3D Fiber Lash, and then I have my old Epic Mascara that I like to go over my lashes with at the end. And the reason why I use my old one is just in case some of those fibers fall off, it's not it, it will kind of gum up the product. So I don't wanna do that on my new one. So Epic Mascara, I am using the waterproof version. We have brown, black, and waterproof black right now. Um, I like the waterproof black. It has a different, softer consistency, I think, than the original. Um, it's my preference. And if you have any concerns about getting the um, product off at night, because that's why a lot of people don't care for um, waterproof mascara is it doesn't come off very easily. I have a cleansing stick that melts the product off without like, it, you'll, you would just be amazed. And it's so gentle and it's so soft and it conditions your eyelashes, it conditions your eyes. Um, it's really, really good for you. So if you have any questions about the cleansing stick, it doesn't matter what waterproof mascara you're using, even if you're not using mine, the cleansing stick will definitely help. Okay, so what I did is while that Epic Mascara was still wet, I grabbed the fibers from the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara and I went over it and I added it. Now don't freak out that it's like fluffy and crazy looking right now because we are gonna fix all of that. And I will use that gel in just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and curl the other side. Now, the reason why I do one eye first part way, because I haven't finished this eye yet, but I come on to this side, is because those fibers are basically using, hi Heather, 
the fibers are using that Epic Mascara or the gel, depending on what you choose to use, um, as um, glue, basically. So it's like sticking to that. So if you went right back over it right now and sealed it down, then it's possible that it's not dry yet and those fibers could just come right off. So you want to make sure that you're letting that, that base product dry with the fibers on um, so that they're going to stay. And I got more tricks to this, so stick with me. I got more tricks to the 3D Fiber Lash. Okay, so let's go back to that. What did I do with it? I thought I was sitting on it, but now I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, this one. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm going back to my new-ish Epic Mascara. Putting that one on first. You see? You can wiggle it at the base to really help that product settle in. And then I always come on the top parts of them too, just to make sure you're grabbing everything. Now, I didn't tell you guys why I sit on my mascaras. I sit on my mascaras because it warms up that gel and makes it really easy to apply. So now I'm gonna come in with my fibers. So usually when I sit down to do my makeup, the first thing I do is I just grab those mascaras and I um, sit on them. And so the whole time that I'm doing my makeup, they're warming up. Now, if you do your makeup standing up, you can stick it in your bra, you can stick it in your pocket, you can stick it in your uh, pants band, you can do anything that can get it close to your body to heat up. So when you're doing the 3D fiber lash, I just keep going over it until with the fibers until I notice that no more fibers are really sticking. That means there's no gel left for it to stick to. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the gel. So the 3D fiber lash comes with gel and it comes with um, fibers. You're gonna seal it with the gel. So you go over it. And now here's the thing is that this also is buildable. So if you're like, okay, that wasn't enough. I want to go big. Um, then after you seal it with the gel right here, you can go ahead and grab those fibers and go back over it again because those fibers will stick to the new gel that's there. So I'll do it right here in the corner. I like to add just a little bit extra sometimes to the corner here. So we'll do that there. But because I'm adding more, I will need to seal it again, okay? So you always have to seal it. You always gotta go gel, fiber, gel, or like Epic Mascara, fiber, gel, something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and come back. Hi, Marie, hi, Heather, hello, guys. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so I let that sit for just a little bit. I'm gonna come in with the gel, which is gonna seal it. And also when you come in with the gel, that will help with um, if you have any fluffiness on your eye lashes. It will straighten out those fibers. Um, and so let's go ahead and add a little bit more fiber to this outer corner. Again, you just add it until you notice no more is coming off. Okay, so now here's a trick. If you guys have been watching me, you guys know this trick, um, and I swear by it. You're going to take your blow dryer, take it on high uh, volume, but medium heat. Don't get it too hot. You don't want to get too hot. And what you're going to do is you're going to warm up those lashes. Hi, Linda. Hi, Julie. So you're warming up. If you guys are coming on to check out the oily skin, I've already talked about all that. So go back and uh, watch the beginning. But what this is doing is it's warming up that mascara and those fibers are just melting in to the uh, mascara. So while I feel, when I feel like it's warmed up and everything is good, I take the cold and blow and like shoot it with cold air. And so what this does is it also will blow off any fibers that might have landed on your cheeks or any fibers that you don't have uh, sealed down with that gel. And then remember right now, all we did, uh, we put fibers on that second coat, but we haven't sealed it yet. So we still have to go back and seal it so that we make sure it doesn't come off throughout the day. Okay. And it also um, helps curl those lashes, which again, will make them look longer. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that older Epic that I have, that's the way I do it, um, because I don't want any fibers to get into my new one and I just go over the whole thing. 
Make sure everything is sealed down. You can tell when there's fibers that aren't sealed down. They look a little bit different. So just make sure everything's sealed down and you can come down here and do these bottom lashes now. I've got some mascara on my finger there. Good morning, good morning everyone. Okay, so we're gonna seal those fibers. Okay, so now it's time to dust off the rest of that setting powder. And we're gonna do setting powder all over now. So can I take my bangs down now? I hope I didn't mess them up. Mm, not bad, not bad. My hair is dirty today. You guys, you know what I did today is I just, um, I just washed my bangs. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever done that where you just like pull your bangs out I washed my bangs and I left all my hair rest of the hair back okay so now what we want to do is that setting powder that we put on here that we really kind of packed on we want to blend that out now and make sure that we don't have like a bunch of like powder just sitting on our face and then whatever's left on the brush you're gonna kind of brush around hey Letty good morning how's your makeup been going you just got that, she just got the um, the bundle that I was talking about here. And so we're gonna get together and I'm gonna show her how to use it all. But I think she was gonna try. Okay, so we're setting that powder everywhere now so that when, um, as my day goes on, if my face starts producing oils, then that um, setting powder will help um, like absorb it, okay? And you finish with the setting spray. So if you have extreme oily skin, make sure that you're doing all of those steps because that is gonna help your makeup settle or set and not settle into fine lines. And then as well, um, I don't look like you. You don't want to. You said you don't want to look overdone. You said that I looked overdone, right? You want you wanted it to be uh, very natural looking. Um, but we will work together. We gotta let me know um, your availability this weekend and we'll see if we can make it work. So right now I'm just adding on some lip gloss just to add some color to those lips and we are done. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me. Um, you need, whether you have um, oily skin, normal skin, combination skin, you need this um, bundle. I will tell you that this is the best deal you're going to get all year long. Um, you got the Photoshop in a in a bottle here and you've got Photoshop in a bottle here. Both of these have light diffusing properties that just make sure that it covers and um, people don't see the, the uh, imperfections that you might have on your face. Um, and then your setting products will make it last all day long, okay? So um, it's on sale, it's got Highlinda, it's got, um, you don't look overdone, I don't wanna look overdone for my age, I got it. Thank you, Grace, um, and then um, what else was I going to say? I think that's it. $47 off. So you're getting the foundation for free. If you get this bundle, you're getting the foundation for free because the foundation isn't $39 by itself. Okay. It's amazing deal. Um, so let me know. Um, thank you, Linda. Thank you, Letty. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. Um, let me know if you want to be color match. It's so easy to color match ladies and everything has a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you get the products and you're like, it just does not work with my skin, then you can get your money back. If you just need an exchange for a color difference, um, we have a 90 day exchange policy. So if we, if for some reason I don't color match you right, or maybe I color match you right today, but then this weekend before your products go, you go and you spend all this time in the sun and you get tan and it changes your color and your products come and it doesn't work with you, then we can exchange it for um, the right colors. I just went through that yesterday. Um, I had a lady that um, we, I, I guess I color matched incorrectly based on the answers that she gave me to the, um, to the quiz. And um, we ended up testing out some other colors. We found the perfect ones for her and we are exchanging it right now. It's a very easy process, no problems. Um, thank you, Letty. I did a great job color matching you. It's pretty easy to color match. We can, we can make it work. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Um, message me or comment here if you have any questions on the products. It's only, um, that, that special is only available this month. So we need to get them 
in your hands now. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.